Today, we're making old school Kool-Aid. All right, I have to make a quick video here, a disclaimer, if you will. We did a taste test, tasted awesome. I had a few more glasses. After that, it didn't go according to plan. So, that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Welcome back, everybody. Like I said, today, we're making the old school Kool-Aid packets. If you grew up like I did, these were a staple in your house. They may not have said Kool-Aid, but they were some generic variation. These are the add your own sugar kind. These were a summer staple for us. They were basically all the time because you could get these for pennies a packet, especially if you didn't buy the Kool-Aid brand. I happened to come across these on clearance at the grocery store one day and I figured, hey, I wonder if this could work. They have no sugar, no sweeteners in them. The instructions even outline either use sugar or Splenda. I hadn't thought about making these on my own. The ingredients are citric acid, salt, red 40, calcium phosphate, contains less than 2% of ascorbic acid, natural and artificial flavors. So I figure we could give these a try. I'm gonna use Allulose Keto Sweet. I picked this up at Costco some time ago. Whether or not they still carry it, I don't know, Costco tends to rotate their products. But we're gonna try this. Each packet makes two quarts, so two packets should make us a gallon. I am not gonna use the full amount of sweetener, even though this says it's one to one. This is about a heaping cup of allulose. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. I have two quarts of water here. So that's half of our gallon. I'm gonna mix it in and then add the other gallon of water, put it in the fridge. When my boy gets home from school today, we'll sit down, we'll have a glass, and we'll tell you how it is. So let's go ahead and get it all mixed up so we can get it in the fridge. So we've got one packet. Two packet. Now, I imagine that this would be great for summers. Gets hot outside, the kids are outside playing, you're outside, something refreshing, a little old school, something nostalgic for you. At least that's how I look at it, to be honest with you. The nostalgia runs deep, especially with things like Kool-Aid. I need to look and see if I can find the lemon-lime flavor, the lime flavor. That was always my favorite. So let's go ahead and get this dumped in here. We'll see how this mixes in. I'm not quite sure how this is going to settle in and then we'll add more water. It looks like it mixes in really easy. That's really good to see. I'm gonna add the last of our water. Not quite a gallon of water, that's okay. That means I'm less likely to spill it everywhere. Then I have to clean it up. So we'll get our lid on. Like I said, we'll get this in the fridge. Once my boy gets home from school, we'll sit down, we'll taste it, and we'll tell you exactly what we think and if we would make it with allulose again. All right, everybody, see you in a few. Welcome back. I've pulled the Kool-Aid out of the fridge. It's ice cold. I did add a little more allulose because I gave it a taste test a couple hours ago and it was just not sweet. I put about a, a heaping cup into the gallon and it was calling for two cups. I added about another three quarters of a cup and we'll see where we are. I do have my reluctant teenager sitting here with us. He's 17. I had to fight with him to get down here because all he cares about are video games. You couldn't say hi. Or I could not. Hmm. He's too cool to be on YouTube. But he wants to be on Twitch. I don't. All right, you get the first taste. It's mildly sweet. Does it taste like Kool-Aid? Yeah. So I think we succeeded because we didn't want it to be super sweet. We don't want it to be like 
like it tastes make, like the sugar free Kool Aid. You don't want your teeth to fall out, right? I think it tastes very watered down. But I'm also not a super big Kool Aid fan. Again, with all the things I'm not a fan of, <laughs> I should weigh ten pounds, but that's the weight of my big toe. Um, I mean, really, it's like you like you clean our toenails like this. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> mm. Anywho, it would suffice in a pinch. I think it's good. We've got a whole bunch of these packets up in the cabinet. They were on clearance at Meyer a couple of months ago or whatever. They've just been up there sitting, and I figured, why not do a quick video? We'll taste allulose. I saw an interesting video on allulose earlier today on how the body processes it. I will link that down in the description below if you're curious about allulose, because I know I was curious, because I had never heard of it before a couple of months ago, maybe a year ago. Time kind of just kind of does what it does, and I'm always kind of lost. So, yeah, <laughs> it's true, I'm lost a lot. If you've tried making Kool-Aid or any other beverages with allulose, let me know in the comments. If you found value in this video, please share, like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye.